get out of the way. Skelnar, number 322, take one. From Television City in Hollywood. Dear sir, I regret to inform you that the idea re recently submitted is ridiculous. Uh, may I speak off the record? May I say that it's one of the stupidest applications this office has ever received. I personally have taken two of those pills that you sent in, and your claim that a person can swallow this pill and eliminate the law of gravity is pure unmitigated poppycock. I wouldn't think... <laughs> Makers of new special blend Imperial, the margarine that gives you Imperial's famous flavor and corn oil goodness, too. And here is our star, Red Skelter. Yeah, you know, I've been reading a lot of things in the newspaper lately, uh, uh, especially with the politicians, you know. They've all got their lines that they're giving out with now. One guy says, I want to cut taxes. The other guy says, me too. The other guy says, I want lower prices. Me too. One guy says, the budget's unbalanced. The other guy says, me too. <laughs> you know, President Johnson's really trying to cut the national budget. According to the Republicans, LJB stands for little old budget jigger. <laughs> But you want to know something? You know, the national budget, it's sort of like a girdle, you know? No matter how tight you squeeze around the figures, you can't hide that inflation at the end. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's one way of cutting the budget, though. It's to give less aid to foreign countries, which will only mean that we'll have a cheaper class of enemies. <laughs> They're starting this economy drive on everything. Submarines now, instead of taking them out to the ocean to test them for leaks, they're running them through the car wash. <laughs> and they say there's too much firefighting equipment aboard these ships. They can save money there. You know what they're going to do now in the Navy? In case of fire, they line 19 men up. And someone yells, Elizabeth Taylor, and they all rule. <laughs> hey, I hear that. 
that old, old Liz is, is giving Eddie the gate. <laughs> of course, I think he's gonna get the house. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there's one senator had a great money-saving idea. See, when you give foreign aid uh, to countries, like if you're going to give them a million dollars, send it straight mail instead of special delivery. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them hit and some of them be doing. <laughs> if there's a taxidermist in the house, I'd like to get that last one stuffed. <laughs> Hey, you know, speaking of politicians, though, they're going to have a big television program where all the candidates get on and they tell their election promises. It's called, What's My Lie? <laughs> <laughs> and the way prices have gone up, you know, counterfeiters, they can't make dollar bills anymore and break even. <laughs> you know, nowadays, a, a, a dollar is about as useful as a glass eye at a keyhole. <laughs> I know what you want, but I can't give it to you. <laughs> you know, budgets are all right, though. A guy walked up to me the other day, and he says, uh, where do you live? I says, just a little beyond my means. <laughs> but y yesterday, I dropped a small fortune in the market. Yeah, I dropped my, my shopping bag broke open in the grocery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the way prices have gone up. Yesterday, a chicken laid an egg, and he grabbed it with both feet, and he says, uh, I'm not letting go of this one until I hear from the farmer's market. <laughs> but you know, actually, any family can live within a budget if they just cut out three things. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> and some people have peculiar way of saving money. You know, I know one actor made a guest appearance on Vin Casey's show just so he could get a free brain operation. <laughs> And uh, the Congress travel allowances have been cut now, which means that they won't be able to go all over the world looking for trouble. They gotta be satisfied with the trouble we got right here. <laughs> hey, Gertrude Heathcliff, they were talking about living, see, what is it? Did you know a hummingbird knows how to live? They know more about life and more about love than any living thing. She says, does it? She says, certainly. What do you think they're humming about? <laughs> flying over Washington, D.C., and Gertrude said, well, now that we're here, where are we going to stay? He said, Heathcliff said, well, I'm going to stay on the roof of the White House. He says, Heathcliff, a male seagull on the roof of the White House? He says, what's wrong with that? He says, there's a ladybird inside. <laughs>
tonight, Red Skelton and Don Knotts in How Are Things in Glockamoron? <laughs> Good morning, Oddball Employment Agency. If the job doesn't fit the person, we make the person fit the job. <laughs> what do you mean, what does it mean? It's a slogan. Why does it have to mean anything? Come in. Howdy. Howdy. I'm looking for a job for my son. For me? You said you were looking for a job. Not me. I don't want a job. Oh, let go of him. I'm tired of supporting you. I'm not. I don't want to go to work. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to go to work. 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 I don't want to <laughs> You're a mighty tall feeling you got there, buddy. Hey, Mr. Garber, yes, sir. I'd like to get a job for my son. Now, that's going to be a bit of a problem, because he does nothing. Yeah, and that ain't easy doing nothing, because you can never tell when you're through. <laughs> well, uh, why don't you sit down? All right, sir. Uh, uh, why don't you sit on the chair? Oh, no, at home they treat me like a dog. I'm not allowed on the furniture. <laughs> Sit up there anyway, right now. Oh, All right, uh, folks. Uh, by the way, uh, what's his name? His name's Clem, and he was left on our doorstep. Oh, orphan. No, just one. <laughs> <laughs> See, you said orphan, and I said just one because I thought you said orphan. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you got to explain them. They're pretty bad. I <laughs> another thing. He was left in a shoebox. Yeah. I was eight years old before I found out I wasn't a pair of sneakers. <laughs> uh, well, let's get down to basics. Uh, yeah. Can you count up to ten? Why, is there uh, an opening for a fight referee? Uh, no, 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 no. But if you can count, I'll get you a job running an elevator. An elevator. An elevator. Say, that would be fun. An elevator. What's an elevator? <laughs> I can count to three. Oh, you mean in the building? Yeah. I can count to three. You got any short buildings? I can. Clem, Clem, to run an elevator, all you have to know is up and down. Well, I know up and down. That's good. Oh, I just forget which is which. Clem, <laughs> Clem, boy, concentrate. Yes. Now tell me, which way is the ground? Not so fast. I'm concentrating. <laughs> right? What's that now? Which way is the ground? That is a good question. I just wish I had a good answer. <laughs> I know, it's easy, that's up. Clem, the ground ain't up. It is if you're walking toward a hill. <laughs> Think, Paul. Think. Well, young man, Think, I've, Paul. Got, I've got just the job for you. Uh, I hope it's not selling cemetery lots. Oh, boy, I'll tell you, it's hard to collect from the tenants, you know. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a job as a guard in a diamond company. You see, they want to hire someone who's too stupid to steal. Well, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Boy, how they fight when they know they got a close-up, huh? <laughs> well, I knew if I held my stupidity long enough, it would pay off. <laughs> Mr. Gompers, yes. this diamond company where Clem's going to work, yes. where is it located? Never mind where it's located. Find out where it's at. Well, <laughs> it's right here in the phone book. It is? Yeah. Well, I'll take the job, but it's going to get awful stuffy in there. <laughs> My, what an interesting book. It must be about a party. Look at all the people's names Clem, there. Clem, that ain't good. That's the window. Oh, that's the window. <laughs> hey, if that elevator job is still open, I just found out which way is down. <laughs> that's my job is going on. There it is, the most valuable jewel in the whole world, the Selma Diamond. Five million dollars. 
But if it isn't cut right, it's worthless. Ah, uh, but fortunately, we've secured the services of the finest diamond cutter in the world, Steady Finger Ferguson. Come in. He's here, he's here. Steady Fingers Ferguson Good. is here. <laughs> My cape, sir. <laughs> <laughs> sir, I'm married and have three children. Oh, that's nice. Who do they take after, you or your wife? <laughs> Study finger? Yes. We have the greatest challenge for you in your career. A five million dollar diamond. Oh, is the girl gone? Yes. Tish, tush. <laughs> you see, I never use strong language in mixed company. <laughs> you would realize, of course, that one tiny error in cutting our diamond, and it's worthless. Yes. But your special diamond cutting tools have just arrived, and here they are. Oh, good, good. I had them shipped all the way from Buckingham Palace, where I performed an impossible task. I split the queen's lavalier. <laughs> What's so amazing about that? She was wearing it at the time. <laughs> a little humor there. <laughs> Got a big laugh at the chisel sharpeners convention. Yes? There's a clam something or other here from the employment agency. Oh, fine, fine. Send him right in. I uh, hired a special guard so you wouldn't be disturbed while you're cutting the diamond. Good, uh, good. For this delicate operation, I must have absolute quiet. Absolutely nothing must upset the delicate balance of my nerves. Let me have a look at this. Clean the court! I'm here to help! Help! Looks like I got here yet in time. <laughs> Steady finger. Are you all right? Say something. May I have a glass of water? I want to see if my face leaks. <laughs> That's a good idea. They don't make skin the way they used to. There's no time to waste. Yes. The second thing I'm going to do is to split that diamond. Well, what's the first thing you're going to split? Take off your hat and bend down. Yes, your royal chisel chip. Ooh. I don't know about that. I split it right down the middle. My head? No, the chisel. Look at Graceful and symmetrical, contours well-rounded, measurements perfect. So much for you, baby. <laughs> now for the diamond. <laughs> I must have absolute quiet. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, just whistle. If I had the strength to pucker, I wouldn't waste it on a whistle. <laughs> well, you won't be disturbed. The new guard is right outside the door. Okay. Bye. Well, I'd better take my finger exercises. Ah! <laughs> I'd better cut down on that. you humming out there? Oh, you're absolutely right. I'll hum in here so you can hear the, my full uh, parascape hum. See? See, I learned to hum with a pear in my mouth. A pair of socks, I think. <laughs> you do, 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 do. Pull me out of here. Oh, all right. I thought you'd never ask. He's a fellow feeling that he's doing his job, you know, this thing. Here. What are you doing? I told you to pull me out. Well, you're getting safe and with you in. <laughs> All I need is a guard to guard me against you. Now get me out of here. All right, sir. What are you yanking on my fingers for? Oh, I figured if I milk it thin enough, you'd fall through. <laughs> <laughs> you, you! All right, very well, sir. I shall leave. Oh, no, please don't go. I need you here <laughs> so I can hate you face to face. Oh, oh, thank you, sir. You're all heart. 
chicken, but all hard. <laughs> there you are, sir. That's just dandy for a diamond cutter, all heart and no fingers. Now, look, Clem, I have just one tiny hit to make with this hammer. Yes? Now, just stand there. Uh, Don't do anything. Don't do anything. Don't even think anything. Don't even think it. Now, wait a minute. I gotta be careful there. I could get elected to Congress, you know. Huh? <laughs> just hold your breath. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on my coffee break. Look, I'm in Brazil. Oh, am I fired? Yes. You're jealous. There's not a jealous bone in my body and not many muscles either. Not many. <laughs> too hard. It just passed us in the corridor. Oh, my nerves are shot. I can't cut that diamond here. I gotta get away from him. Someplace out in the country. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mother told me where to go. <laughs> here. The Diddle Hopper Corners. You'll never find me there. <laughs> This room ain't usually for rent. You're just lucky my son's in the big city. Lucky for him. And that's where the bathroom is. I thought I was in it. <laughs> so this is Cadetal Hopper Corners, huh? You tell me where I can get a good meal? Yeah. The Palmer House in Chicago. <laughs> well, now for a little Betty Bye. Yes, sir. I'll get me a good night's rest, and I'll have that diamond cut faster than Liz Taylor can say goodbye, husband, hello, friend. <laughs> I'm a thousand miles away from that idiot Clem. <laughs> if I find out I've been fired, he's gonna kill me. I better get a good night's sleep, though, so when they bury me, I won't have bags under my eyes. <laughs> I got bags now. My eyes look like two saucers with a cup hanging down. <laughs> oh, well, I always like to wash up before going to bed. I like to wash, but I don't like to be a fanatic about it. <laughs> I to think I'm trying to high head them there. there. Well, now, got to get up in the morning early and milk the chicken. I'm going to show the cow that I don't play favorites. <laughs> I've got to milk 74 cows. You're sure going to have my hand full tomorrow. <laughs> Mother never lets me forget she wanted a girl. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. What happened to the water? Darn it, I must have left my pores open again. <laughs> yeah, Papa. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. I guess I'll have to use that long, thin roll towel. <laughs> <laughs> Mother never lets me forget she wanted little cupcakes. <laughs> oh, oh boy, oh boy. Warm 
in here. <laughs> I might have to get up in the middle of the night and take my socks off. <laughs> I don't know where I've been walking, but it sure itches. <laughs> Boy, there must be more than one of them down there. myself all my life, but it's the first time I ever got an answer. <laughs> what a swore I shaved this morning. <laughs> Unless I have three hands, I'm not alone. <laughs> it's you! What? I came down here to get away from you! Well, sleeping in bed with me ain't gonna do it, buddy. <laughs> well, I've gotta cut that $5 million diamond by tomorrow. Now yeah. get in that bed and stay there and close your eyes. How long? How does permanently strike you? <laughs> okay, muscle. <laughs> Let's see, where was I in my dream? Oh, yes, you can pucker up again, Christine. Christine? That's my prize pig. <laughs> Lucky break. He's asleep. <laughs> I've got to cut the diamond before he wakes up. <laughs> Call you steady fingers. Why, do you know one flip of that hammer and you have ruined a five million dollar diamond? Can you imagine you being responsible for ruining a five million dollar diamond? Well, you can do it. You've got steady nerves, boy. You should try brain surgery, too. You'd be good at that. Yes, sir. You're ready. Let her go. Let her go. You're ready to cut her. You were never readier. Next time it goes by, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> Let her go, buddy. I'm the dog. <laughs> You don't mind, I'm gonna set on this diamond. That'll be the safest place in this room for it. Oh. <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't do it. Oh, yes, you can, little feller. Just pretend that it's a expensive walnut. You know something? What? This is all your fault! <laughs> <laughs> now look what you made me do. You ruined my diamond. You ruined my diamond. What made you ruin my diamond? <laughs> <laughs> You've already got the Andy Griffith show. What are you doing, bucking for this one? <laughs> Skull smashed a five million dollar diamond. Now, what are you gonna do? Oh, there's it? no problem at all, little feller. Just take it out of my salary, say, uh, 50 cents a week. 50 cents a week? Yeah. Pay it off will take a million years. Good. Hey, Paul, I finally got a steady job. <laughs> And now, 
ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on television, the young folks. Make my country, we'll buy 
mine country, make mine country Now the Silent Spot, starring Red Skelton in The Last Chance Gas Station.
Thank you. In behalf of our sponsors and staff, may we thank you for allowing us to be a part of your evening. So until next week, we'll say goodbye for now, and may God bless. Good night. <laughs> by Hermans of Beverly Hills. Art Gilmore speaking.